What's up you guys, Chris here with Drone Co Productions and today I want to share 10 of my favorite soldering tips with you guys. Maybe you're brand new to soldering or maybe you've been soldering for years. Hopefully one of these 10 tips will help you. Alright you guys, let's get started. Tip number one, flux always. Flux, I haven't always used it but once I started using it, I haven't gone back. It really just helps transfer the heat from your soldering iron to the solder and the pad itself which is crucial for getting a nice, clean, fast solder job. So tip two, clean your tip. I think I'm guilty of this more than anything else. I try to solder with a dirty tip and it causes me problems when all you gotta do is clean the tip of your soldering iron and it's gonna help you result in a cleaner look. Tip three, pre-tin all the pads you plan on soldering to. Pre-tinning is basically putting solder on the pad and the wire itself before you actually join them together. If you don't do this, you're going to end up with a cold solder joint or solder not transferring all the way through the pad and or the wire, and which results in possibly breaking off with a little bit of stress. Tip number four. Basically, you're, you're cutting off the excess amount of wire so you don't have extra wires going everywhere that could potentially be touching other components. So we're going to go ahead and snip that off and then probably even pre-tint it again just to make it nice and clean. Tip number five. Hot and fast. You want to be real hot and real quick. You can see that in these solder joints, I'm only on the pad for just a few seconds. If you sit there with a colder temperature for longer, it's going to heat up the components on the board and it could cause one of them to come off. For the battery leads, we definitely want to be the max temp and the ground pad is usually the one that takes the heat up longer as it's got more traces going throughout the board. So yeah, don't be a 350, be a 450 or as close as you can to it. 420 is never a bad number. Tip number six, don't solder over electronics. You want to solder from the side, not over the top. You want to bring your solder over the electronics, not the soldering iron itself. Tip number seven, tip that kind of fits in with this one is if you don't want to worry about it, you can add some electrical tape to the flight controller itself. And this prevents uh, unwanted uh, solder spray, which, you know, even after building all these drones I have, it still happens where you, you're soldering and a little bit of solder just kind of flicks off onto one of the components and then, you know, it's causing you problems. It could be a small problem or it can be completely non-functional. As you see here, when I'm soldering, uh, a little bit of spray gets over and sometimes those little balls are, end up being little pieces of solder and those could land on your flight controller and cause shorts. So there's another little tip for beginners is put some tape over your board while you're soldering it. All right, this tip could potentially save your house. Nobody wants a fire, so get yourself a good silicone mat to solder on. Uh, I've definitely burnt a table or two in my day from letting a soldering iron just kind of chill. And uh, I mean, it's just a good precaution to not burn your house down. Even though the soldering iron does have an auto shut off after a certain time, uh, these silicone mats, I've been soldering on them for the past couple years. They're great to have. Um, they'll protect your table, protect anything from catching on fire. So, solder mat. Alright, and this is a pretty simple one that I kind of figured out by accident. I had my ashtray sitting there one day and I put my soldering iron in it. And it just kind of worked great. So now I have a dedicated ashtray just for my soldering iron. It helps when you have uh, kind of dribbles on the end of your soldering iron. They just fall off into the ashtray. So for soldering, grab an ashtray. You want a good soldering iron. This is the pencil soldering iron that uh, Joshua Bardwell did a review on. I have been using the TS-100, but this one kind of stuck out to me because it's got the USB-C and almost all my stuff's USB-C, so it's pretty handy. Uh, and it heats up pretty quick powering through the USB-C. Um, a lot faster than like a 12 volt. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. This has been top 10 tips for soldering FPV drones.